I mean, that covered the pi at least that gives me back my pistol ammo. And I've got Le Granit. That probably opens. And that just had no glass on it. Oh, I feel my fan. Alright. He's like, my fan is off. And then I turn it on. It's, uh-oh. My fan is on. Oh, shit. I wonder. Nope. <laughs> uh, whoever worked here was like a bit of a, a workshopper. Damn you. Okay, um. I inject the glass with my good genes. I don't know what the fuck. Alright, uh, la 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 la. I don't know how long I've been recording, but... I just got a gust of wind on my hand. I thought I was about to just freaking rank this whole thing. Alright. What is that? 300 grams of... misery. Ugh. Alright. Now I'm just playing Cry of Fear, walking around with a syringe and some kind of explosive and some shit. Alright, be very careful. Chuck for resin. Give myself a little bit of cover by jumping behind the duel. Are they going to breach? Russ, are they saying my name? Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. I was like, hey, Alex. I think they're just imitating. I think they're just imitating. All right. Let's try to knock this door off without needing to put my whole hand up there. Nifty. Alright. This is not very efficient, I'll admit. Having to carry a fucking grenade around and everything. Like, realistically, you could just hold that in your mouth, or hold that in your mouth, and just run around and do that. Oh, shit. But, it ain't that kind of game. You can't put stuff in your mouth. If I want to do that, I'll just play Koikatsu Party. <laughs> I'm Duke Nukem's shitty cousin, Dick Kickum. Okay. Oh shit, someone had vodka in the freezer. That's my kind of empty. So. They weren't cooling it, they were storing it. And because that's their fucking trash bin, apparently. Oh, my fan cable's in the way. This all went to hell. Alright. And there's that can of not coffee, but this time I think it is coffee. Uh, you know what? That's a whole lot of nothing. Oh, everyone keeps money under the sink. Pretend I didn't say that. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, so, we'll keep that there in case we need it. But I don't want to lug that around anymore. Can they trip their own mines? Alright, that'd be useful if they could. Oh, I have to chase the damn thing. To put me under pressure. Uh, 
Oh, don't trip it with the multi-tool, you dumbass. Cool. Well, one last look back, because we ain't coming back. Damn you! And I hear trip mine. Or hear something. What is that beeping noise? Is it a beeping noise or is it? Oh, it might just be that. Infestation control. What are they controlling that's a liquid? Oh my lord. <laughs> the alien come police apparently <laughs> welcome to the crack shack use needles everywhere okay so we're in a happy place with uh, nasty shit Now, this just kind of put a thought in my head here. It's actually kind of weird how, despite it being, you know, like, true 3D and all the rest of it, your sense of space isn't really, or at least to me, I have very bad spatial awareness anyway, and my sense of direction is garbage, but it's actually kind of remarkable how your... At least for me, my sense of presence isn't isn't particularly enhanced by VR. It's it's like I still kind of get lost because your the act of moving around and like you you know your feet, your muscles and stuff like that that helps establish like your um, situational awareness and all that. So, I could still easily get lost, just because it's like, yes, I mean, I can look at this and be like, okay, that's where I came from and stuff like that, but it's still, nope, that's where I came from. See, this is all very visual, but it's still, you're still sort of having to, how do I put this? It's still like a game. It is still like a video game. You're not actually here. But then again, that's just me. I mean, there's people, I mean, you see like, like, uh, VR fails and stuff. And people are literally tripping over themselves. Alright. Let's do this. With my shit-ass depth perception. And the fact that my controller actually kind of lost communicate because one of my light thank you one of my lighthouses is like right uh, like right there so and the other one's like right there so if I'm reaching down like that it, that one's not getting anything mm -hmm. which is remarkable how well it's able to it is kind of remarkable just how well it's able to track Really? Stank ass motherfucker. Alright. You know, apparently shrapnel goes out in a cone. 
All right. Snatch that. We have to do this again. Although this time I'm gonna be in a different angle. That way the tracking's better. Tracking didn't fail. I just need it to be a little better. Or maybe it was just, you know, touching the box. <laughs> but, you know, that was a learning experience. Because now we know... Staying out of the cone of fire is more important than hacking. Or more important than distance. If I see a guardrail or something, I'm turning around because I think... Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. Which means I do want to head the other way. And double check. I'll do this before I forget, though. Uh, calculator. I think I could just, I think I could lose it by grip. I'm like, I'm, I'm just kind of squeezing the controller, keeping this grenade in check. My hand's getting kind of tired. Oh, fuck you. This thing does it even show up on the vital sensor. That's, that's what really sucks. Also... Oh, he didn't go through the floor. I'm not super flush with uh, pistol ammo anymore. Oh, fuck it. This seems to be the flavor of the day. You know, that's a whole lot of bullshit for some resin. Resin. Job for taxes. Yuck. Alright. Going up, going up, going up, up, up. I'm probably gonna take a break as soon as I'm done with this butt. Alright. Actually, when I say take a break, I almost always mean uh, stop for the day. Because of how hot it gets. It's getting hot in here. I'm gonna play quick hot to party and take off someone else's clothes. Lovely detail. Oh, your dad's back. Oh, thank God. Russell! God damn it's good to see you. Likewise. Oh, this is great. Honestly, I'd take your survival at about four percent. You can thank that Mordecai. He got me back here in one piece. Russ? Russell, put dad on. Abby! Baby! Dad! We just took down a substation. Good. Because when they move this thing, that weapon's gone. We need to get it tonight. We will. You still got that data pod, right? I do. Russ, this thing's biocoded. I'm gonna need the TLI. Yep, it's right over there. Okay, great. You good, honey? For sure. You go ahead. I'll be fine, Dad. I promise. Keep that promise. I'll get to work on the data pod. Yeah, you do that, daddy man. You know, if we hit a, a loading screen, I am gonna stop the recording. As my office gets very hot, because my computer puts off a lot of heat, and right now, it's, it, I'm recording this later in the day than usual. So I kinda wanna take advantage of what little time I have left with cold air. Don't wanna go down there yet. What the fuck? Uh, am I interrupting something? Damn you. Damn you.
We can dance if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. But if you don't get down there, you never can be a friend of mine. Anyway. If you don't get down with the bad clown, you'll never be a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Get down with the bad clown. Don't know what I'm saying. Shit the bed. Oh, this will certainly kill me if I drop that far. Well, here's an equally far distance, and you don't seem to give a shit. Okay. Yeah! Oh! Warm! Arms race. Go. <coughs> that is gonna have to be it for to D. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I am the Dave signing out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time.